This is the tale of the massive 100 kilogram Canadian million dollar coin stolen in 2017 from the Bode Museum in Berlin, Germany. To put it in perspective of how big this coin is, across its face measures approximately 60 centimeters, which is about 23 inches long, while its thickness measures about an inch and a half. Its weight at 100 kilograms of the purest gold bullion ever refined means its weight in gold alone at today's prices would be around 7.3 million Canadian dollars, which is about 5.5 million euros or 5.5 million USD. Till today, the coin has still not yet been recovered, giving us not only a modern day heist story, but probably one of the biggest museum heists in history. As mentioned earlier, the coin's weight in gold alone is worth about 7.3 million Canadian dollars. But with the recent death of Queen Elizabeth II and her face being on one side of the coin could mean, if recovered, the coin could be worth double its value or even a whole lot more. That being said, if someone were to step up and claim that they knew the whereabouts of the coin, would probably be very hard to authenticate as anyone with that much gold could simply just replicate one. But at the same time, working with hundreds of kilograms of gold takes precision, state-of-the-art technology, and a pretty strict adherence to engineering principles. It isn't just a walk in the park or something you could put in your pocket. A total of six of these 100 kilogram Canadian coins were ever made. In 2007, when the Royal Canadian Mint unveiled its new behemoth of a coin, nicknamed the Big Maple Leaf, buyers immediately came forward. Being there was only six coins ever made, one was kept in the mint vault, one was purchased by the Barrett Gold Corporation, which sits on display at the Royal Ontario Museum, while the remaining four were sold to private collectors around the globe. And one of those ended up in the Bone Museum in Berlin, Germany. Then came the robbery. Police in Germany say crooks have made off with a huge Canadian gold coin worth millions from Berlin's Bode Museum. In the dead of night, two brothers and their cousin allegedly climbed through a malfunctioning window in the Bone Museum. Capitalizing on a tip, police said, from a fourth suspect who worked as a museum guard. The suspects then swiftly removed the coin from its glass encasement, lifted it through the window using a rope before wheelbarrowing the coin to their getaway car. Shortly after the robbery, when the museum realized that the coin was missing, a citywide search began for the men and the coin. While Germany police eventually apprehended the suspects, it wasn't before they were able to either stash the coin, fence it, or melt it down. As today, the coin has still not been recovered. The thieves were convicted on the basis of circumstantial evidence, but in the end, the evidence was too overwhelming to be dismissed. Gold shavings that could be clearly assigned to the coin because of its purity were found in one of the defendant's apartments and on his clothing. A note was also found with the information of the current price of the gold. A glove with a splinter of glass from the museum showcase was also found with the second defendant. Furthermore, his DNA was found on a rope that the perpetrators had left behind, as well as DNA traces of the security guard involved discovered on the only non-alarm secured window that he had left open for his accomplices. German media identified the robbers as 24-year-old Wasey Remo, his brother 20-year-old Ahmed Remo, and their cousin 22-year-old Wissam Remo, as well as the security guard that worked as an accomplice as 20-year-old Dennis W. Given the age of the robbers at the time of the robbery, only actually three of the four suspects were sentenced to jail time. And because of the time of the robbery, they were all under 20 years old. They got tried as juveniles. Two of the cousins were sentenced to four years and six months in prison. While the youngest brother was acquitted, the security guard who worked as an accomplice and left the window open for the robbers 
was sentenced to three years and four months in prison. While many people believe that the robbers got away pretty easy, in order to prevent the perpetrators from swimming in money after their short stay in prison, seeing as the fact that the coin was never recovered, an additional court order was issued to confiscate a sum of 3.3 million euros from the two main defendants, which roughly corresponded to the gold's value at the time. While many people still wonder whether or not the coin is hiding in a sofa somewhere or if in fact it will turn up again one day, it's still a mystery. Although a lot of people believe the likely case that the coin was probably fenced, melted down, and will probably never ever be seen ever again. We often hear tales of ancient robberies from hundreds of years ago of old ancient relic paintings that were stolen. And although the 100 kilogram Canadian big maple leaf coin was a theft that dates back to 2017, it is definitely something that will go down in history as one of the biggest museum heists that has ever happened. And although the coin is still missing till today, lucky for us there are still 5 of these coins still out there and one in the Royal Ontario Museum that is still available for the public to marvel at. And until another mint decides to topple the record breaking 100 kilogram Canadian maple coin, Big Maple still remains the biggest gold bullion coin in the world. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one. Place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back.